This is gonna be our lower body warm up. Now you're gonna see you're first gonna start off with a dynamic warm up. Typically for us, this is gonna be butt kickers for five seconds, quick skips for five seconds, quick skips opening up the hip, air squats, side lunges, but anything that's gonna give you blood flow and get movement is fine. So you want movement first, and then you're gonna go into the next list. You're gonna do hip lifts with an alternate foot lift. So I'm going to bridge myself up, chin to my chest so there's not uh, arch in my lower back. I'm gonna lift my right foot just an inch off the ground, hold, and then switch back and forth, making sure the plane of those hips stays straight across and consistent. From there, I'm gonna go to a rotational dead bug. My knees are going to be up, my hands are gonna be held onto each other over my face. They're gonna reach 45 degrees over to my right as my left lat gets extended. So I'm getting a stretch across here and then I extend my left leg. Make sure you rotate onto that right shoulder slightly, bringing the left shoulder off the ground and then lower back stays connected to the ground. Very important on that. The next thing I want you going to do is you're gonna move over to a forearm plank. So just putting those forearms in the ground, belly buttoned into your spine, trying to engage as much as possible. From here, you're gonna move into a stationary bear crawl. Same concept with those alternate hip lifts is trying to keep your body as still, as steady as possible. So I'm gonna lift my right arm and my left leg, and then switch. Going back and forth, holding, trying to stay as flat as possible. From there, I'm gonna move into Y's, T's, and arrows. Now, when I do these, I wanna make sure that I'm engaging my shoulder blades. So my shoulder blades are going to squeeze up, not my arms moving. Big difference between the two. So I got my Y's, I got my T's, and I have my arrows. And it's all about shoulder blade movement on that. Next, you're gonna to go to downward dog. I'm using this more for ankle mobility. So our toes are in the ground, I'm pushing my butt back. I'm trying to keep my spine neutral, and again, trying to get mobility in that lower foot into that ankle. From there, I'm gonna go with the world's greatest stretch. With this, make sure you are on the outside edge of your foot, your inside ankle up, your knee bowed out, hand and foot are in the same line, rear leg is completely straight. Take that elbow, drop it down to the ground as much as possible, keeping that leg, that knee in the correct position, and then rotating up. You're gonna go back and forth, holding for the amount of time suggested on the program. From here, we're gonna to go to airplanes. Now, with this, you need something to hold on to, whether it's a wall, whether it's a rack. You're going to try and get your torso in line with your rear leg. I'm going to open, keeping my leg straight, both internal and external, going back and forth. A lot of you guys are gonna be able to open up but can you come underneath with that same amount of range of motion? Very important that we work on this. Obviously, you're gonna go both legs. This is gonna be our lower body warm-up.